I'm so sorry. How about heart? I wanted to say that to you, but I didn't know if you wanted to see me. Oh, of course I wanted to see you. I need you so much, Rose. I have never needed you like this. Thank you. <clears throat> this isn't a particularly good time. I don't give a damn, Ben. You work for me. Don't forget it. No, actually, I work for Alan Spaulding, and last I checked, he had left you in this cell to rot. So talk fast, please, or I'm gone. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I don't want you to leave. I, I didn't mean to be rude. It's just... This place is killing me, okay? Why did you want to see me? Alan came to visit me. He's back on my side. Hmm. Well, I thought he might be. I think he kind of likes you, you know? He asked me to marry him. Shame they won't let you with the ring in here. No, please. I settle for comfortable underwear at this point. So why didn't he contact me? I don't know. That's just the thing. He didn't even come to see me yesterday, and I'm just freaking out in here. I don't know what's going on. You certainly are. Look, Ben, you can be a big man in this town if you help me out. You get me out of here, and Lewis Oil can still be yours. Please. Tough day to have to do business. Yeah, well, Alan couldn't have picked a worse time to take over Lewis Oil. No, no, no. It's an attempted takeover. With that uh, information on the tape that David got for us, we're going to run him right out of town. Yeah, well, as much as I'd like to be there to see that, I think I should stay here with Cassie. I think you should go. N Cassie, no, I'm not going anywhere. Hart would want you to go. He'd want you to go, and he'd want you to fight with everything you had, and you know that. I, I just don't want you to be alone. Not today. Hey, he'd never forgive me if I caused you to lose Lewis Oil. You know, Cassie, I can't do this on my own. Reva can stay here with you. Yeah, I, I really, I don't want to leave. Go and bring me back some good news. No, I really, I, I really feel like I should stay here and at least take care of the kids or something. Mm -hmm. If you need anything, please call me. Get into the dining room because I think Cook made something special for you this morning. Hmm? Is it what I think it is? And if it's hot fudge Sundays, no. <laughs> Cass is spoiled again. Oh, you go on, thing. go on. I'll be in okay. just a minute. Okay. okay. Matt, uh, hey. what are you doing here? She uh, she took Maureen. She left. Well, did you tell her what what I told you? Uh, I didn't get a chance to. She uh, left me a message on the machine. And you don't have any idea where she is? No, I was hoping that you might know something, Lily. No, this is news to me, Matt. Uh, maybe she's with another friend, hmm? Well, I, I, I tried that. Uh, is uh, Alan or Vicky around? Maybe they know something. Uh, n no, they've, they've left for work. But in India, I think, is still here, if that's any help. Uh, do, you, do you mind if I, if I check no, it out? No, no, okay. no. Thank you. You, um... You told me last night you were going to clear up the misunderstanding between Matt and Vanessa. I was. I was. Well, um, obviously you didn't succeed, so what happened? Well, you know how uh, Vanessa thought that Matt was standing her up. Well, mm -hmm. Matt thought the same thing. <clears throat> but once they understood what had happened, why would Vanessa still leave him? Honey, you did tell them, didn't you? No, I, Mom, I told Matt. Okay, when? I, after 
Vanessa left. Oh, but, 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 I, I came back in here to tell them both, and then Vanessa started attacking me, and, 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 and I, I lost it. My, it's not my fault. Oh, face it, Beth, you didn't tell Vanessa, because you want Matt for yourself. Here we are again. You always seem to be on somebody else's side. You just think your daughter is a town slut and a homewrecker, huh? Isn't that what you meant? Sweetie, that's not what this is about. I warned you about Matt. I knew this trouble was coming. This isn't my fault. It is your fault. You could have cleared up the misunderstanding between the two of them last night, but you chose not to. Oh, oh sure, sure. And how long would that have worked for? I mean, you see the way that they fight. Do you know who they fight over? They fight over you. I have done nothing. You have to be a friend to Matt. <laughs> You've been the friend that may have ended his marriage. No, no, no. Vanessa did that all on her own, Mom. Beth, I see it in your eyes. I see the way you look at Matt. I wasn't aware that that was a crime. He's a married man, sweetie. I told you last night that Vanessa wanted him back and that she was in love with him. Oh, love. Lo yeah, love. Right. Well, we both know that love sometimes is not enough, is it? Because sometimes people move on whether you want them to or not, so she can live with it now. Well, you mean just because Philip left, left you and made you unhappy, you want no, everyone no, no, to be no. unhappy, Beth? I'm, I'm not talking about this with you anymore. Oh, yes, you're going to talk to me about this, young lady. This is your fault. You made this I mess. I did not create enough. this. You did, too. If you had told the truth last night, this would never have happened. Well, you know what, Mom? You don't know anything. You don't know anything. I could have had Matt last night. Yes, I could have. But I sent him home. Do you want to know why? Because I have too much respect for myself to be another man's second choice. So don't you judge me. Don't you dare judge me. What are you doing here? Well, I, I heard, Cassie, and I just had to come see you. Well, you know, I, uh, I want to be alone right now. Yeah, I just wanted to come and pay my respects and tell you how sorry I am and and let you know that if you ever need to talk to someone, you can talk to me. I don't want to talk right now. Well, I understand that, but when you do, I just want you to know that I understand what you're going through. Because you've been there, right? You know what it's like to lose the love of well, your life. I, I do, yeah. Well, you don't know how I feel. You don't know what I'm going through. Well, Cassie, my wife, I mean, she... She died after a lot of years together. You guys had a full life together, Jim. Hart and I were robbed of that, okay? Because I have nothing now. So don't come over here and tell me that you know what I'm going through because you don't have a clue. You understand why I need to see you, right? Why I need to be with you, right? I just need to be with you right now. Yesterday when I was... I thought about you and I just couldn't imagine what you were feeling knowing what your daughter had done. Hart had become a good friend of mine. He's a, he's a good young man. He certainly didn't deserve this. No. Um, could I get you some tea or anything? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mr. Day, during the surgery, I missed you so much. I just missed your... your voice. I missed hearing you. I missed... You're so good at comforting me in a crisis. You just don't know what to do, Ross. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you felt that way. I don't blame you for not coming. Not after what I've done. I did. I was at the hospital last night. I spoke with Ben, didn't he tell you? Oh, look, Mom. An audience. Now you can tell everyone what an evil woman your daughter's become. Oh, come on, it's your big chance. Nothing? Oh, what a shame. You missed a good show. What the hell is this about? Sorry, I apologize. We just are a little tense here because we just found out that Vanessa left Matt. Because of Beth? No, not entirely. Mm. Matt, I'm sorry. I, I just, I told him about Vanessa. Oh, the more the merrier. I just found out that uh, 
Vanessa called into the office and took a leave of absence. I'd appreciate it if you guys would keep that under your hat. She's not supposed to leave town. I don't know that she has, but if she has, police wouldn't appreciate that. She's just out on bail. Well, my mom can find your wife. She's the best detective in Susan, town. this isn't that kind of situation. No, you can. She can find no. anyone, anywhere, anytime. Can't you, Carly? Yes, you can. Well, I, you know, if, if, I could make a few calls for you if, if you needed me to. You could do that? Yeah, that, um, that would help. I need to find Vanessa. So what did you do to Alan Spaulding? What do you mean? Well, he's one of the most powerful men in this country, and yet when he's around you, he turns into a semi-soft cheese. Maybe he sees something most people don't. Maybe he sees who I really am. And who's that? <sighs> I'm a lot of things to a lot of people, all right, Ben? You've done a lot of things to a lot of people. I am not a monster. You do know that, don't you? I'm your lawyer, not your judge. Can I tell you something? Sure. I don't even know why I'm saying this to you. I'm scared. I've never been this scared in my life. At night, I lay down in here to go to sleep, and I have these nightmares. You know, I see things. I picture this parade of people walking into the courtroom. People who want to hurt me. They're laughing. They're smiling and they're laughing because they want to hurt me. They want to put me away forever. It's my job not to let that happen. And how are you going to do that? How? There are so many charges against me, not just here, but in Cincinnati and Detroit. Just be honest with me, please. Are they going to send me to prison for life? No. Because I can't go, Ben. I can't. I have dreams. I do. I want to be married. I want to adopt children. You know, and those dreams are who I really am. That's really me. And without those dreams, there's something to look forward to. I'm nothing. I'm nothing. And I don't want to be here. I just want to die. I can't stay in here. I don't lose, Annie. And now that you're with me, you're not going to lose either. Their case has holes in it, Annie. Holes that I can rip wide open. How? How are you going to do that? Well, I have a strategy. Huh? You see, I think that you have been made insane by years of harassment. No! John? No! You are not. No. No insanity charge. I'm not going back to the loony bin. I'll kill myself first. I can't go back there. You were temporarily insane. And you snapped back to reality when you found those children. You see, your true character came out when you gave up your freedom for theirs. Do you really think that will work? Jones versus Hanson, it worked like a charm. In fact, I've been in touch with the defense attorney. And he's going to help us out on the team. He, he's going to help us? He's an old friend of mine. Well, then that's it. That's it right there. I'm, I'm as good as free. On one condition. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Just well, tell me. You have me. to tell us everything. You have to be absolutely honest, Annie. Because nobody likes to be surprised in a courtroom. I've told you everything. There's absolutely nothing else to tell. Annie. It's the truth. Nothing? You were holding nothing back? Okay, 
Okay, maybe there is one tiny little thing. I kidnapped Riva and I left her to die on a plane that was crashing. 